Apico 2.0 is out. We've got butterflies, we've got solitary bees, we've got candles and incense, we've got new characters, and more. Um, this is the butterfly expert. I walked all the way over here so we could have a little chat to kick things off. Oh, this looks like a new uh, dialogue um, interface. This is Dr. Stowe Beelett, BHD. Dr. Stowe Beelett. Is that a pun? Is this going over my head? Hello, have we met before? Oh, hello, lovely. I'm Dr. Beelett, but everyone calls me Stowe. I'm a conservation scientist with the Mainland Preservation and Conservation Organization. You're right, a bit of a mouthful, eh? With a big name comes a big responsibility. I'm here to study the archipelago's butterflies and hopefully learn how to repopulate the species back home. Say, as an islander, I bet you know loads of cool stuff. Would you mind helping me? That's great. Thank you so much. I was starting to look very daunting on my own. Here, this is a copy of my journal. You can open it with Y. Oh, I've read everything we have on butterflies, but books are no match for the real thing. You'll also need to buy one of my nets. Whoops. Sorry about that. Once you've caught a butterfly, you'll be able to observe and learn more about it. Don't forget to note down anything you find in that journal. Good luck and come back if you need any help. All right, I guess we gotta buy a butterfly net. It's very cheap, so, you know, not, not upset about that. I guess I can stay there. What else do we got here? We got a nursery, a butterfly hotel, a alchemy bench, an incense burner, a rainbow banner. Oh, that's cute. And a butterfly banner? Yeah, let's buy some decor for my house. I guess we got a lot of rubies, so we could probably just go ahead and buy all this other stuff too. What is this? An incense bottle. Alchemy bench. Butterfly hotel. Nursery. I feel like I kind of want a new home base for butterflies. That might be nice to have, because it's a little cramped um, at my my little bee house right now. See, look at all this stuff. Look at all this junk around here. Did my, did my bees finish breeding? I'm trying to breed the industrial bee. I only bred three bees, and they're all regal bees? That's sad. Okay. Do we got a worker bee around here that's lower on the um, mutation, uh, stable, whatever? I'm just gonna grab a, try and grab a, a bee here so I can, a worker bee. I'm really trying to get the last few bees that I don't have yet. Um, maybe this one. Or this one. I'm just gonna grab this guy. I'll just purebred guys and do that. What do I do with the other regal bees? I guess I'll just put them in there. Little box here. I know I'm I'm not showing the um, the butterflies yet, but. I'm gonna just drop off some of this stuff, actually, and we will go catch a butterfly. Alchemy bench. Is this how I... Incense. Do I also make the candles there? Like, I'm not sure if that actually has anything to do with butterflies. Um little canister and a I don't know what that is combine things not totally sure how this works do I have something in here about the uh, alchemy maybe not but I guess these are the uh, all the butterflies as you explore the island you're bound to come across butterflies fluttering about each butterfly has preferred a preferred set of flowers it likes as well as specific conditions it likes Use a butterfly net on the flower being visited. You can put your new butterfly friends up in butterfly hotels. 
So it's been a while since I've crafted a floor. What is this? Incense bottle. Oh, that's what goes somewhere. Is that like smoke? I'm not sure how this works. Oh no, it's gonna rain today? We'll read this later, but let's try and find a butterfly. What was I gonna do? I think I should drop some more stuff off, just like clear up some space. I have tons of space, I can just drop it all off in here. Hive dust? No, none of it is like gray. Do I need gray stuff? I'm gonna drop off this snow. So what I wanted to do is just build a new house really quick in my at my workbench how do i build some floors maybe we can make up a, a prettier house <laughs> wood edging stone flooring we need stone to make stone flooring but i don't know might be nice to make you know a different looking house we'll just make like We'll start with that. I don't want to do the stone wall. I don't know if there is a wood panel flooring. Is there any other wall I can do? I feel like I just want to do a wood wall mm, or a grass wall. Let's do the grass wall. Let's be fun. And we're going to have to clear out some space somewhere. Where do I want to put it? Maybe just up here. Are the butterflies? It seems like the butterflies are, uh, are just chilling at night. So just give me a second to clear the land over here. Oh, I can collect leaves now? Used to create habitats for solitary bees as well as feed caterpillars. Oh, that's fun. Whoops, I didn't mean to press that. So, I'm just going to start with like a small little base of operations here. Like, let's see. One, two, three, four. We'll build a little four by four space here oh that's that tree's in the way throw the grass wall around it, it kind of makes it just look like hedges now whoops is that flower in the way Okay, I think that's as big as I'm gonna make that now. I think I'll just go ahead and put this outside right there for now. Throw that there. What else do I got here? I got twigs. Okay, also use, okay, they're both like flora. So the incense burner used to burn incense. Okay, okay, all right. Let me put that out too. Should probably make some sort of story. Like just go craft a crate real quick. I don't know if the butterflies, I'm sure some of the butterflies will be out during the rain. I don't see any right now. So I think I, well, it, it is early too. It's only 5.30. Maybe they're not active yet. You're almost ready. So I'll probably like speed, I'll just speed this along until I find some butterflies. Okay, I guess while we're waiting for some butterflies to show up, I can craft a candle maker from my workbench. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I really would like to expand my house, I think. I don't have a lot of space here though. Uh, it's looking a little ugly around here, uh, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm just gonna plop it right there and I think we can fill it with beeswax and I guess wood so I'm gonna take like half of that there oh it's 
it's burning it's burning right now and we're gonna throw all of our beeswax in there and it's uh okay we're gonna have to looks like buy something new to hold this beeswax or the melted wax whatever right, did I get a new bee yet I'm really having I'm really struggling with this industrial bee am I like not doing this right regal worker bee hybrid I'm gonna throw I'm just gonna throw these guys in there we will see what happens oh geez Work, worker regal queen I know it's only like a 20% chance but I feel like I should have gotten one by now so I'm gonna put this go put this crate that I crafted over here unload some stuff and see if I can get the whatever I need for the candles I'm just gonna plant this guy <laughs> Everybody else can stay. Ooh, there's some butterflies out. Okay, we let's equip our net and go catch some butterflies. Okay, all right. We got three drizzled butterflies. Check Stowe's journal to learn more. Despite not being waterproof, this playful butterfly loves to fly in the rain, flitting between raindrops. If it gets wet, it will lick itself dry and continue to dance until the rain stops. Oh, it shows the, um, whoa, the life cycle. Drizzled eggs can be grown into caterpillars in a nursery. Drizzled caterpillars can be grown and fed in a nursery. Twigs, they become twigs somehow. And the chrysalis will slowly turn into a butterfly. Ooh, there's a normal variant and a golden variant. Is that... That wasn't a bee thing, was it? Or is it? Uh, oh, it's like the blessed variants, basically. Gotcha. Okay, anyway, the bees I'm still trying to find are the industrial, as I'm trying to make right now, the empress, and the sacred bee. Those are the last three, except for now I'm going to need I get, get some more with the solitary bees. So maybe I'll go throw one of these in the the hab the nursery? Not the not the nursery. The habitat? I actually don't know. I think this just is like the the rehabilitator. So, I'm not totally sure what to do with the butterflies. Actually, we should read the butterfly book, right? When, oh, can I put them in there? When butterflies have finished their stay in a hotel, they'll lay eggs. These can be used in a nursery to grow new butterflies. Okay, so I should have a hotel, right? I bought a, didn't I buy a hotel? I bought a hotel. We bought a hotel nursery oh this is the butterfly hotel not the okay 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 we got this i'm just gonna th throw two of them in here there are no flowers these butterflies like nearby so i think what is the range on this um i'm gonna have to put it near some water actually definitely gonna have to buy multiple butterfly hotels i think Okay, actually, let me put it just over here, right there. Then it should be in the right range. So I'm going to put two of them here, and then I'm just going to hang on to the other one. Cause it causes cross-mutation of nearby flowers. That's the other thing I didn't mention, is that there are new flowers, so I should probably take a look at my flower book. These are storm wart, swarm warts, so I'm, uh, a, der a derivation of turba formed by the action of nearby drizzled. So maybe they'll just do something? 
Maybe I don't need to do anything. They'll just they'll just uh go mess with them somehow. Okay, now that it's done raining, I think we can catch some more butterflies. See what other flies butterflies? Can I get through the thick trees right now? Okay. Uh I think there's somebody over here. We discovered another butterfly. We discovered another butterfly. That one's not new. How about this guy? No. What about you? No, you're not. Is there not somebody hanging over on this one? I don't know which one it's hanging on. Okay. We got two butterflies. Speckled. Speckled and princess. That's fun. Let me just go drop off some more stuff. Drop off these guys. And these guys. Inventory management, guys. Be better at it than I am. Uh, hollowed bee box. I got one hollowed bee. So let's read these lovely little descriptions over here. Um, a common, almost mundane sight among the islands of the archipelago, but there is nothing mundane about the magic of butterflies. So the, these are tier one, so I'm assuming we can probably find all of these just out in the wild. Uh, the princess butterfly is infatuated with bees and will live as close to a colony as its queen will permit. It's. That's the wrong it's. Sorry, guys. Some will even allow it to live within the hive where it will follow the queen around like a royal courtier. Court, courtier. That's a really cute butterfly. The lesser dreamer. Oh, I guess the, the descriptions are already there. But, you know, it's fun to read them when we actually find them, I think. I wonder how you get the golden variants. Let's let's see what's going on with the tier two. These are probably also ones I can just find. Find in the swamp area. All of them are swampy guys. All these are ice guys. Over the hollows. Oh, that we might just. Are they all just findable? We don't do any like. I guess there's no breeding, crossbreeding. It's just that you use the butterflies to get new flowers and things. Okay. Well. Oh. It just produces a candle. Uh-oh. I just wasted a bunch of wood for that, didn't I? I guess we gotta just do one at a time. Is that how that works? Does it not stack? Interesting. Does it just... I'm gonna wait for it to get filled up and see what happens. Will it produce a candle? I was, I was assuming I'd have to go buy something. But... I guess I just must have run out of smoker wood before it could create more. I, I feel like I put a lot of wood and maybe I didn't. <laughs> Either way, uh, let's go see if anybody has something new to say to me. Do you have something new? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know if there's anything. Bookshelf? Ooh. I get two things from her. That's two different bookshelves. Sawdust, blue carpet. Ooh. That's not something I can craft, is it? I don't know what I'm doing with that. Well, yeah, let's go say hi to everyone. See if anybody's selling new things. Um, whoa. I fell asleep and found this magical bee. Oh. Maybe they all just sell two at a time now? Okay, this is cool. I guess he's the one I'm really curious uh, um, about for potential new things. 
Where do I go from here? Um, okay. Heart banner. Oh, maybe some more, some new decor. There's marble. Uh, desalinator? Used to extract clean water from the ocean. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's a nice, uh, addition, I think. I know there's a character to the east. I don't know if I have to sail to them or not. Okay, it looks like I had a sail over there. So let's go talk to grandma. Hello? Oh, you just say hello, Nana. Okay, cool. I just realized that there's a little indicator that says that it's dusk now. Here? Oh, you know what? I bet it already. I don't know if that's there to say like, oh, this is when like the diurnal guys should be active. What's up, Cal? We got it. We finally got the industrial bee. Wow. We got it. Okay. Let's throw this guy under a microscope and get some get some research done. Uh, a very productive bee. Excellent. So, I do have some royal jelly. When is it active? It's a rain lover and a snow lover, but it, it doesn't need snow for it to work, right? Well, it's going to go to sleep soon anyway, but maybe kind of want to throw it in one of my swarmers with some royal jelly. Maybe not. There's not really... I need to clear out this space. Let's just put it in, in this guy with some royal jelly so it can produce some fun things. Uh, where's my royal, royal jelly? I gotta throw some more frames in here. Oh boy. I probably should have prepared some frames uh, first. This is a bad idea. I've, I've done poorly. Okay, at least these guys will be ready quickly, except for the first one I think is going to break, so... No, not gonna break. No active hives nearby! You're gonna give me so much honey. Okay, none of the hive, the none of the frames, broke. So that's good. That's cool. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go sail to uh, this other expert guy who's gonna who's gonna tell us about solitary bees. And then maybe we can sail to the swamp and. The icy area, I probably should have dropped off these other bees first. Maybe we'll just go to the swamp, drop the bees off, and then go to the icy area. Where is this guy? Oh, he's on the other side. <laughs> Hello, sir. What you got in there? A small bee hotel? Oh, you don't got anything fun for me. Um, yo, McKenna? Who? Never heard of them. Haha, <laughs> just messing with you. Of course I know, Stowe. We're dating. We both came from the mainland on this romantic um, research trip. Miss Fancy Pants is our butterfly conservation scientist. She's not that interested in bees, to tell you the truth. I reckon she might be a little scared of them. Well, they say opposites attract. Personally, I prefer things that have a bit more buzz. But if you want to see know more about butterflies, she's your woman. Oh, if you see her, tell her I said... Butterflies are just bees in sweet capes. <laughs> um, who are you? I'm Dr. Matt Hive, Cody to my friends. I'm a solitary bee ner nerd working for the Mainland Preservation and Conservation Organization. Uh, uh, we really need a better name for that. What do you mean, what's a solitary bee? Are you pulling my foreleg? Solitary bees are bees that don't live in beehives. They live on their own and don't produce honey. 
I bet that sounds like blasphemy to you islanders. Honey or not, solitary bees are just as important for pollination and vital to the ecosystem. I'm so glad they included this because, um, you know, a few years back when there was this whole like colony collapse disorder panic among people, people were really concerned about saving bees, but they were really focused on honeybees when that, that's just like a small percentage of bees. There's like so many bees that, um, are really important for just pollination and for, you know, the environment and the ecosystem as it says here. Uh, but it's really cool that they've mentioned the, this year. I've been wanting to do a stream, a charity stream with this game where I raise money for some bee uh, or pollinator charities. So uh, I kind of still have to work out all of that. I have never done a charity stream before, but if you want to follow me on my Twitch channel, that links into the description. Once I figure all that out, we can get into this. I guess the other thing, let me finish reading the rest of her dialogue. Um, I've got a sweet idea. Why don't we do a fair swap? You tell me about the social bees and in return you can help my research into solitary bees. What do you say? What do you say? Great. One, two, three. No take backsies. Let's look at your bee journal. Oh, this was Professor Keepers, right? Wicked. Cody starts frantically rifling through the journal's pages, tutting and muttering to themselves, ripping out pages from the journal, adding in new ones, and making notes in chunky permanent marker all over the place before thrusting it back into your hands. Whew. Okay, a bit rough and ready, lots of missing bits, but that should do. When you open your bee book with bee, you can swap between social and solitary bees by pressing tab. For starters, solitary bees don't have hives, so you need, you'll need somewhere for the little critters to live. In fact, I have some bee hotels on me you could buy. I can give you the friends and family discount. Oh, don't look at me like that. Do you know how hard research funding is to get these days? Uh, oh boy. I'm ready to build- oh, that's not what I answered. By putting by on specific flora and other items into a bee hotel, you can create a small environment that will attract solitary bees. You can inspect them with a magnifying glass, don't touch, you can't just go shoving them in your pocket. Different solitary bees have different hotel preferences. Once you've discovered a species, you'll be able to build proper habitats specifically tailored to their needs, and then the real work of repopulating begins. I'm ready to build a, a habitat. That's great. I knew you'd be a great minion. I mean, helper. Keep it stocked with goodies. Okay, okay. Probably have to buy some stuff. What is this? Checkered wood edging? Oh, we got funky ingredients now. Let's get a large bee hotel. A bee habitat and a magnifying glass. You know, I'm actually not gonna... I'm gonna run back to the main island before I go to the swamp and the icy places just to offload some stuff. This is a nice chunky update I feel like and it's actually I, I read the the changelog the patch updates it's supposed to be the first of three content updates which I had, I had no idea that they were like just the fact that they are doing this butterfly update is pretty awesome and if if they've got two more content up, updates on the way i'm really excited to see uh what they have up their sleeves so let's pop back over to my little butterfly sanctuary uh store some stuff maybe do i want to do that We'll, we'll store one, we'll just store like one of each butterfly, just to have them. I'll store those two. Mm, let's put out the, uh, we'll start with that and then we'll store the rest of this carpet. Put the magnifying glass there. Put all this honeycomb in my backpack, I think. How's the... Oh, no, how's the hotel? Okay, we got some drizzled eggs, so... Do I need to put stuff in the nursery? I feel like I need to feed them. Maybe if I put a caterpillar in, I will need to feed it. 
But yeah, we'll see what happens there. I'm also just going to plop down the bee habitat. Ooh. Cutter bee. Build a habitat for this species to save it. Oh, I can put like a leaf in there. Oh, that's all I can... It's just cutter bee right now. And I'll put the, the hotel just here just to... Just so I have space. Okay, maybe just throw a leaf in each of these. I'm gonna throw a leaf there. We need both types of native flora. Is that referring to the twigs? That, that's gotta be. We need more native flora. How about the other? Need more native flora to start. Do I gotta like fill it all the way up? Or is it talking about the surroundings? Do I gotta put more flowers out? Is that what needs to happen here? Not totally sure. I do want to focus more on the butterflies here and maybe do another video for the, the bees. So I think I'm going to plop in, look, I caterpillars, there's no food. I got to get some more leaves now, or I guess I can throw some, just a couple leaves in there. Is this how this works? Guess I'm not sure how it works. All right, let's throw the rest of these butterflies in here. Oh no, of course there's no, you can only have one species at a time. Well, never mind for this. Let's just go catch some butterflies. All right, we're now approaching the swamp where hopefully I can find some more butterflies. I don't see any right now. It is still early in the day. Hoping I will see some soon. I should probably just transport myself to these, but now I've boated all the way over here. Okay, so I am going to teleport back because I just looked and realized that most of these butterflies I'm looking for are, are nocturnal butterflies, or there's a sunrise one uh, in the icy area, there's a sunset one here, there's a thunderstorm one here, and like none of these are, conditions are going to be met for a while. So I'm going to teleport back. And check on some bees. Or we'll check on... Maybe I'll take one of these candles and throw it in the incense. Although I think I need another resource, resource first. Ooh. Let's extract some of these guys. See what it gives me. We got a second industrial bee now, so that's nice. Okay, yeah, it does give me, it gives me honeycomb frames. That's what they produce. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, that is an old, um, that's not a new thing. So I'm just going to skip along until it's sunset and then we can go get some more butterflies. <laughs> All right, guys, I figured out the solitary bee thing I needed to look at the uh, the bee book and see that the cutter bee likes to gather cuttings from nearby shrubs. So I put a little shrub cutting in there and we got a visitor. So I'm gonna take my magnifying glass and go check it out. We discovered a cutter bee. Look at this guy. Uh, the cutter bee uses its jaws to cut out neat circular sections of leaf that it rolls into a nursery chamber for its eggs alongside some pollen before sealing it off with another leaf. We can build it a habitat to learn more about the species. Can I, can I throw it in here? So it's, I'm not sure I understand the difference between a hotel and a habitat. I, maybe it's just... You need to use more resources for it or something. Anyway, this is pretty neat. Um, I don't know how we're going to switch between the habitats. But yeah, we we got to be. Also, I figured out these caterpillars need twigs to eat from the, the butterfly book. 
reading is important guys definitely gotta read here so what, you, what is up with you I guess I can't pick I don't remember what the what the guy said about the bee I don't know what it's supposed to do here let's just um wait do I have I do not have two candle makers what is wrong with me oh this is what I was supposed to put I don't know I'm confused I'm gonna take a little nap speed things along get it to sunset uh, which is now see if I can't catch a bee a butterfly which one is it I'm looking for right now painted leaf um, found in the swamps as the sun sets prefers lily pads to flowers so oh there it is this guy's hanging out up here we got a butterfly gotta catch them all I unlocked an achievement um, discover this butterfly to learn more about it. So, wait, I did just, right? Tiny hairs allow the painted leaf butterfly to harness, um, surface tension and hide in the murky water beneath the leaf pads until night falls and it can safely emerge. Ooh, it likes mushrooms? How do I get some mushrooms? Are there mushrooms in the area? How do I get those? Let's go catch another one. Look at all these butterflies. Whoa, is this a new flower? It's a flower pot. Do you have new flowers to sell? What's up? Oh, she talks about butterflies. What do you have in your shop? Lily pads, oh, giant lily pads, glass wall, golden leaves. She's got mushrooms. How do I get mushrooms myself? Watering can? Okay, can grow my seeds instantly. Mulches seeds and flowers into grass and flora. Uh, my question is, do I have to buy all of these things? Or can I obtain them? So it's not a super big deal if I have to buy them. But let's, let's get night going on uh no wake up wrong thing i feel like we should be seeing some more butterflies maybe it is nighttime there there's a butterfly that i can't get to where's my boat where's my boat it's over here okay i think there's some more butterflies over yeah Congrats, grab some of these guys. This sounds like a new track. I know they added more music to the game as well, so... This one that's playing definitely sounds like a new track. Children are told scary stories about the floating mask with glowing eyes that guard the swamps. Eventually, they will discover the masked butterfly and the lies told to protect them. They eat moss. Wow, look at this guy. This guy's like wild looking. Okay, I think this video has gotten long enough. I definitely want to do another video soon. I got some other games I gotta cover, but I do want to do another video. Go over more of the solitary bees, more of the butterflies, maybe check out some hybrid flowers. I think there's also supposed to be butterflies on this island. No, those are bees. I don't know where they... what they... Um, large honey cork crystals? Okay, it's nocturnal. Oh wait, those are butterflies. Wow, we got a butterfly. <laughs> With every beat of its tiny wings, the honeyed gray tail emits an ultrasonic vibration that helps guide honeycore into its characteristic shape. Wow. Anyway, that's going to be all for today. Hopefully I'll be back with another video soon because I want to do more with the bees and the butterflies and the new flowers. And I also have been wanting to do a video on some of the mods, especially now that it's been several months since the game came out. There's a lot of mods out. Definitely check out the game. It is at a discount right now because of the new content update. I'll leave the description 
I'll leave the link to Steam, the Steam page in my description. So go check those out and thanks for watching.